Hello everyone from the Novetch team. Welcome to today's webinar, Creo AR Design Share. As the physical and digital worlds converge, augmented reality is a key capability for the product designer. Creo AR Design Share is an extension to PTC Creo Parametric Essentials and gives you full administrative controls of your AR experiences. This technology is engaging, immersive, and simple, helping your ecosystem experience the product at scale wherever they may be. Today's presenter, Luke Westbrook, joined PTC in 2014 as a PTC MathCAD application engineer and now spends his time conducting product demonstrations, answering technical questions for customers, and assisting with product manage management and product definition, among other things. And uh, let me tell you a little bit about Novage. Novage is one of the largest online stores for design software, and we offer a huge assortment of software solutions that cater to virtually every designer's need. So come visit us at novage.com. And for more daily software news and limited time promotions, uh, check, check out also uh, our social media channels on Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter. Coming up on next week's webinar, Meshroom VR, the simplest way to product validation in VR. Last but not least, today's webinar is free and it's being recorded. So if you want to rewatch it, you just need to go on YouTube and Vimeo and search for Novage. And now, without further ado, I will um, share Luke's screen. There you go. Take it away, Luke. All right. Thank you so much. Um, and uh, yeah, so, so, um, this is uh, Creo AR Design Share. I'm happy to to be on this call with with everybody. And um, uh, yeah, so kind of the the agenda today um, is uh, is I want to talk through first um, just what what is AR. Um, it's it's kind of new. Um, so so some some folks may may know more about it than others. Um, but I want to give just a very brief um, kind of lead in to what is AR. Um, and then talk about why why AR and and, not, and I'm I'm not talking about you know in a more generic sense I really mean focused on um, AR and Creo and and in in using AR in your design process with CAD and that sort of thing. Um, so uh, yeah, I want to kind of cast a, a little bit of a, of a vision there of why it's important, why why I think it really has the potential to to be kind of a disrupt, disruptive technology uh, for 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 CAD. And, uh, and then I want to talk about uh, Creo AR Design Share, which is a new product that we uh, released recently. Um, and then I'll show a quick, a quick demo just, just really to, to give you some visibility into what it looks like and, and really how easy it is to, to do. I mean, that's, that's one of the big, the big issues with AR today is, is how do we actually get the content to where we can, we can experience it? And, and it's not always the easiest thing. So I really want to show and highlight how, how simple uh, we make that in, in Creo with Creo AR Design Share, and then and then I'll talk about a couple of things that that uh, that we're working on. Um, give you give you a little bit of insight into what that's going to look like. Obviously, um, you know that that may that may change in the future, so I'm not making any promises there, but but just want to want to talk a little bit about uh, about the future there. Um, so first, uh, augmented reality. So augmented reality is is uh, at, at its basic most basic level. It's and I'm just going to read the definition superimposing computer graphics onto a live view of the world, also known as AR. Um, so, so really what we're talking about, and then that can actually, even within augmented reality, you've got a bunch of different kind of variations of that. Um, but what, what I'm going to be talking about here is, is in some sense is actually referred to as, as mixed reality, which is which really where you take your, your real world environment, you actually project 3D objects into that environment that, that either interact with that environment or, or at least um, kind of based upon that environment. So scaled correctly, you know, anchored correctly, that sort of thing. So that's really what we're talking about today is putting 3D objects and 3D digital objects into a real 3D world. Um, so why is this important? Well, CAD is better with, with AR, right? So what we have is, is right now we've got you know if you're designing this this you know, backhoe in in Creo or whatever your your 3D modeling software is you know we talk about it being 3D modeling and it is obviously 
Um, but on some level, it's actually two dimensions, right? You've got uh, this 3D model, but it's stuck on your computer screen. So you're missing, you're, you're kind of missing the, that, that extra dimension. It's, you know, you can revolve it, rotate it and all that. Um, but it's still sitting kind of compressed into your, into a 2D screen, right? And, and not only that, but it's, it's shrunk. It's, it's, um, oops, I can press the back button. Um, it's, it's shrunk, right? It's, it's, it's this backhoe. I mean, how, how big is it? Are we designing a, a real backhoe or are we designing a toy? It's tough to say because it's just, it's all on your screen. So it's all kind of the same size. Um, but what we're able to do with AR is, is really pull that, pull that digital model out and bring it into the real world. So suddenly you can stand next to it. You can walk around it. You can experience it and encounter it the way you were at least similarly to the way you would um, if it were actually physically present. And you can see, you can get a sense of scale, right? You can, again, you can stand up next to it. You can see how, how, high, how, how high do I have to go to get into the cab of that, of that backhoe? You know, how big is that shovel? Um, and so, so really, I mean, CAD, we, we talk about CAD being 3D, but, but it's, it's, and on some level it's not. And so I think AR has the ability to really bring what was meant to be 3D and, and make, it, make it so before it ever has to be a, a physical thing, right? Before you get into the prototyping and all that sort of thing. So, so I really do think, you know, CAD is, is better uh, with AR. It makes sense. It's a logical, it's a logical relationship, I think. Um, and so really when we're talking about, um, you know, Creo augmented reality and, and, and what we can do in Creo today, um, there's, there's two main use cases here. And so um, just I'll, I'll talk about these, these both real quickly. Um, and, and let me, let me kind of take a step back and, and say that Creo AR Design Share, it's, it's an extension. And, and so I'm going to talk more about what, what that is and what it does in a second. But we also have, you know, th that's an extension that you can purchase. Um, but we also have just, just what I'll call freemium capabilities. And, uh, and those capabilities uh, are, well, like the, the word wording would suggest, they're, they're free but limited. Um, and so, so really the use cases for both free and, 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 and well, uh, premium or, you know, the kind of the paid, paid extension um, the use cases are pretty pretty similar, right? And, and and so, really, what we're talking about is one the ability to share your designs. So, uh, you know, I, I right now today, if I want to share my design, if I want to send it to my boss or to a supplier or or whoever else may need to see the experience or see the design, um, I have to you know package that up. I have to create a you know a Creo view file or whatever. But then the the receiver either has to have Creo or Creo View or something like that. Or, or I've talked to, to customers that they, they'll they create a, a PowerPoint presentation, take screenshots at different angles of the 3D model and send that. Well, that's, I mean, one, that's difficult. That's a pain to make sure somebody has Creo or Creo View on the other side or to, to create that PowerPoint presentation, whatever. It's, it's difficult to do. Um, and you have to send them a file and all this sort of thing. Um, where uh, Creo AR, um, we really make it a lot easier just to even kind of outside of the AR piece, really just easier to share your models, to share your design so that people can see it without having to package up the file or whatever. In fact, it's all driven by, by a URL, by a link that you send somebody. So it's very easy to, to do that. Um, but the second thing, and really where, where the value of AR kind of kicks in and on a big level is, is the ability to, to really and truly interact or, or, or visualize your, your designs. Uh, so again, it's it's that it's that bringing it into the 3D world. So then uh, the, the the physical world, and experiencing it in real 3D, uh, immersed in the in the real world, right? Not not immersed in the digital world or whatever, but being able to see it in context, you know, being able to see a digital car in my in my real garage or that sort of thing, or and being able to to walk around it and, and interact it w with it like I like I would a real thing, and, and being able to see it at scale, most importantly, right? So I mean, you, you're going to get an understanding if you're sending this to your to your boss or you're sending this to a supplier or whatever giving that person a real sense of the scale is really important you, you understand things better when you can walk around them and see how, how how big is it what's the size of this really what am i dealing with um and so this is really you know really the the, the root of kind of the use case of, of creo ar so what creo ar is is basically i take creo and i and i publish a 
a model up to, to, to the PTC cloud, right? It's very simple. It's like a one button thing. And I publish this model up. And then with that model, then I'll, I'll, take, I'll take a link and I'll send it to somebody else and they'll use their mobile device and they'll experience this, this AR model you know, in the real world. So they'll, they'll place it, they'll, you know, you know, they'll kind of anchor it um, onto the ground. And so what we have, kind of the technology that we're using, and, and I'll show this more in just a second with, with kind of as I show, show how it works. Um, basically we're creating a, it's called a spatial target. And what that really does is defines the plane that the digital model is going to use to anchor to the real world. So when I use this in my in my mobile device, I send uh, I send a URL, I send a link, and on my mo mobile device that will launch an app. And so it's a free app, ThingWorks View. Um, it's easy to easy to download, easy to get, all that. Um, it's free. And so um, and then basically what that does is it actually scans the 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 environment. And, and, and it will scan kind of horizontal surfaces, flat surfaces, my desk, my table, um, my, the, the floor, um, you know, the ground, that sort of thing. And, and it basically determines, okay, here's a surface that I can anchor to. And then, and then it uses that, it's called spatial tracking, and then it uses that to anchor the model. And so here you can see the snowmobile, snow, snowmobile is anchored to kind of the outside of, uh, it's actually out, outside of the PTC headquarters. I stepped outside and, 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 uh, and placed the, the snowmobile there. Um, and, uh, and so that's, that's kind of the, the workflow. This is, this is what basically Creo AR design share is, but again, you can also do this for free. Now there's some limitations and I'll talk about those, but you can do this for free. Um, but what we have with Creo AR design share is, is that with the free capabilities, when I, when I share that model and I send that, that link to, to whoever needs to see it, the problem is that link is then out there. And I have really no control over that link. Um, you know, somebody can post it to their Twitter or their Facebook or whatever, and uh, and it can get out in the real, real world. So so once you send that link out, you really don't have any control over who actually views it. And so that's why we kind of took this step with Creo AR Design Shares is, is we knew that okay, this is this is valuable stuff, but our our customers they, they need to be able to to kind of lock this down. They need to be able to determine who is able to view it and who isn't, and that sort of thing. And so. So that's what we've done with AR Design Shares, really to provide controls that, that allow you as the user, um, as, as the one who's publishing content, to decide who, do, who who's able to, to actually view this so that you, you are in control um, over what's happening with your models. And so what this, what this looks like, to really kind of put some finer points on this, with the free capabilities you have, you can publish up to five AR experiences for free. Um, and, uh, and, and it's kind of a revolving door. So once you publish those five, um, if you try to publish the sixth, it'll actually delete the oldest model that you have, right? So it's, it's this revolving door. And they also have a, a, a temporary shelf life, which is six months, right? So a six month long shelf life and, and then you lose it. Um, so that's, that's for free. And, and then again, there's, there's no control over, over who can view that. So then what we've introduced with Creo Air, Air Design Share and it, and it comes in two different two different packages, enterprise and individual. And I'll talk more about that in a second. Um, but uh, but basically, what this allows you to do is you can publish more than just the five AR experiences. So so you have more models that you can publish, and it also has a there's a permanent shelf life. But but really, the biggest most important part of this is administrative control. So you have the ability um, to add and remove authors. Uh, you know who can actually publish to this to this AR Design Share account. Um, but you can also add, add viewers. And so you determine what viewers are able to do this. And this is based off of, um, you know, I don't want to get too far into details, but basically based off of a registered email um, that, that's, uh, that, that, uh, that you're accessing, that you're, that you're um, determining who kind of what, what users are able to actually um, view this experience. And if they're not on that list and they get access to the link and they try to access the, the, the model in AR, uh, they're not going to be able to do it. It's going to it's going to prevent them from from doing that. And you can also add and and delete models, right? So with with the free capabilities, you can't actually delete a model unless you kind of publish that sixth model and and then delete the oldest. Um, and so really, some of the some of the the major benefits here are that you know you can choose who is able to experience uh, your your AR, you know, the the things you publish to to uh, to AR Design Share. You're also able to to protect. Uh, your IP byte, but you're not you're not actually sending them any actual CAD files or anything like that. Again, it's all tied to a URL. 
and there's there's no way to actually get get into it all you can it's, it's kind of view only right um and and it really just makes it a lot easier to to share this i mean that's it's in the name right air design share um but really enables you to share your designs with people without having to be concerned about what you're sharing with them and you know if it's going to kind of get out of control and, and suddenly people are seeing it that you didn't want to see it um, so it just allows you to kind of have some sort of peace of mind with, with who you're sharing with, which, which makes it easier to, to kind of engage with a wider range of stakeholders. You don't have to put so many um, so many controls in place and stuff because we've, we've kind of put those in place for you. Um, so a brief mention about the two different packages. Um, and again, I don't want to get too far into the details, but um, with the enterprise, we've got individual and enterprise. So the enterprise package really has, it has an administrator. That administrator determines who, what Creo users are, are have the access um, kind of permissions to publish to that Creo AR Design Share account, um, and and so if you don't have access, then you can't publish to that account. Um, and so so the admin determined basically can add authors. That's kind of what, what they're called. Um, and then the author can go in and, and control you know who can publish a model and then control who can ha can see that 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 model as well and, and the admin actually has control over that so i if i'm an admin for an enterprise package i can not only add authors but any any models that an author publishes i actually have control over those models as well so if uh you know if i want to delete somebody else's model and say hey you know maybe we shouldn't we shouldn't publish that then i can do that as the admin um, and as the author i can do that with just with the the, the models that I, I i myself have purchased right so there's kind of a hierarchy there with the enterprise Whereas in the individual, and, and I should also say in the enterprise, you can publish up to 50 models for, for one package. Um, for an individual, um, it's it's meant for, as you might imagine, an individual user, right? So so instead of having an admin who can add an unlimited number of authors, there's just a single author. That's it. That author has control over their models, and, and that's it. Um, but, but they have that control, right? And so they're able to still determine who's able to view that and who can't, and, and they can delete their models and, yeah, manage their models in, in that way. Um, so that's just kind of a, a, a brief brief description of the, of the two packages that we have. So now what I want to do is I want to kind of walk through and so you can see what the actual workflow is, right? So this, um, I'm going to play this video here and uh, let me that. there we go. So here's what, what you're going to see is I'm going to go up to the to the tools tab and I'm going to set that spatial target, right? Again, that's the plane that determines where I anchor to the real world. And I can use just the basic standard top, bottom, left, right, or I can put this on a custom plane, you know, whatever whatever suits my needs the best. And so I can move this around because I'm putting this in a custom plane um, and, uh, and so forth. Boom, done. And then I go ahead and publish the model. So I change the name. I change the viewable quality. How, how crisp do I want that? And then I select, uh, you know, I select where I want to publish to. And I'm going to pause there. What you saw in that drop down was there was a personal and then there's that PTC demo one. So the personal account is that free account, right? You, everybody can have access to those free models. Um, but then there's also, um, you know, you, you see in this case, it's called PTC demo one, right? That's just the premium account that I have access to. Um, and so some users won't have access, access to that. Um, they'll only have the personal account. But for those who have purchased and are given access to a Creo AR design share account, they'll see other, you know, even, maybe even more than one um, account that they can publish to, right? So, so you select kind of where you want to publish it to, and then you select the spatial target that I've defined. And once that's published, then I go into Manage Model, and it's going to launch the embedded browser, or you can go into, you know, Google Chrome or whatever. And you can see there's that personal account. Again, it's free. You can see there's up to five models. And all I can do is see the date, and I can share this, right? There's no controls. I can't determine who can view it and who can't. I just share it, and once, that, once that's out, it's out. But then I go into PTC demo one, you can see I'm an admin here and I can delete me users, I can change you know, roles of users, and then I can go and see what models have I published. And I can go in and I can add viewers to that, I can delete viewers to that, I can delete the model itself if I want that to be no longer available, or I can share it. Once, that, once I do that, I can email this, and you can see here, let me uh, again, let me kind of pause this, you can see this, this link down here in the middle of that email, and that's the link to the experience. So, so when I share it, I can either copy that URL um, and, and text it to somebody, or I can send it, you know, via email. And once that's done, then I go, you know, the end user, the viewer, selects that that link on their iPad or phone or you know tablet, whatever, 
And then they scan the environment and they place that model on to, into the real world. And so again, you can see them walking around it as though that, that snowmobile were actually there and placed you know, in the, you know, again, that's outside of the PTC's headquarters uh, in, in, in Massachusetts near Boston. So you can see I'm walking around this, I can come up close and you can see you know, quite a lot of detail there. Um, and so that's really, I mean, that, that, that process of putting in a spatial target, publishing it, and then sharing it. I mean, that's the workflow. And then you can see it on, on your, you know, your, your tablet or your phone. Um, so it's, it's very simple to do, very easy to use. And it's, and it's, uh, yeah, it's, look, we're not, we're not doing anything super flashy, but, uh, but it really is, is a great way to be able to experience and to share um, your, your designs and your models with somebody. So, um, so that's, AR Design Share, that's where we're at today. Now, again, I wanna talk about it, you know, some future future things that we're looking at. Now, again, I, I wanna put in this caveat, make, make sure this is clear, and you know, we're not, we're not promising anything here, so this, this could very well change, and I don't really have any time frames for this, but, but what we are looking, looking to, to work on in the, in the near future is, uh, so we've got spatial tracking, right, which, which allows me to kind of scan the environment and, and anchor it. But what we're also working on is, is model tracking. And so uh, this actually exists today in, in Vuforia, which is our AR uh, augmented reality uh, SDK that, that we, that we sell, PTC sells. Um, so we've got model tracking, which, which actually allows you to, to, allows your device to recognize the physical, um, the physical components, or, or rather the physical features of a physical model, right? And so once you, you basically use CAD data to recognize physical objects. And so once you do that, you can see, okay, I've got this device, I've got this outline that says, okay, this is what, this is what the camera needs to see in order to latch onto it, to kind of to track it. And so once that's done, you can see, you know, this kind of locks on to the physical model. And then I can augment information, I can augment models on top of that. So what you can imagine in this little, you know, lunar lander or whatever, you know, I've got this antenna. Well, maybe I want to actually try out a different design. And so I actually, I've got a physical prototype or something like that, but I want to use this, this model tracking to actually lock onto the physical thing. And so I can see this, you know, a new antenna design uh, augmented right on top. And so I can actually see, okay, what, what is this, uh, what might this look like? And so you're able to kind of, to test out updated designs and see how they, how they look and feel um, with with your current you know physical models or or three D prints or, or other types of prototypes, prototyping you know uh, endeavors. Um, so that's that's you know again kind of taking trying to take technology and really be able to to make it easier and better to to share your models. So again, you can experience this in a, in a better way. Um, what we also want to do is is add some some stuff that that you can publish more information. So right now. Um, it's, it's fairly simple. It's really just kind of the model as you see it, right? And so you can walk around it and, and there's that. Um, but what we also want to add is, is things like explodes, right? So I want to explode the model so that I can walk around and see where the different parts, you know, come together. I may, maybe I want to see cross sections or different appearances so I can, again, so I can understand the model. It really helps me to be able to share this information with somebody. So if they need to understand the model better, maybe they need to see sections or maybe they even need to see you know, simulation results and that, and that sort of thing, right? So really we wanna just allow more information to be published to an AR experience and, and keep that, that kind of ease of use um, uh, intact and, and, and really just make it, make it all about you know, making it better and, and kind of a more robust solution for, for sharing, uh, sharing your designs um, and experiencing those in AR. Um, so uh, that's, uh, that's really, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. That's, that's all I've really got. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess we can kind of open things up for, for questions or, or whatever, but that's, uh, that's, that's AR Design Share. Thank you, Luke. So um, we're open for questions. Don't be shy. Uh, let us know if you have any inquiries and we'll wait a few more uh, minutes just to uh, let you, you know, raise your hands and interact with us. Thank you, uh, Luke, by the way, for the great presentation. Very exciting. And um, I want to remind everybody that, you know, Creo extensions are all available on the Novage catalog. There's plenty of them to choose from. And come check them out. It's not just uh, the ER des design share. Um, there's one for each and one of your design needs. Okay, Luke, I don't see questions yet. We have a, 
um, either an audience that is, you know, completely uh, up to speed with all <laughs> the information and they, they know they, they, they are good or uh, yeah, the presentation was that good. <laughs> that there's no need yeah. for questions, but I'll still hang on a few more seconds. In the meantime, maybe I'll take uh, the screen back. Mm -hmm. So um, we're ready for um, the departure of this webinar and, today. And Yes. And one thing, one thing I'll say uh, real quick, just as kind of a, as a, a, a next steps, I think for for those who are who are on the call, um, is again, don't don't forget that we have Creo AI Design Share, and, and that's a, but but you don't have to uh, you don't have to wait really to to try this out. Um, and so we have those free capabilities, and, and a big part of that is so you can test it out and see see what that's like and, and experience it for yourself. Um, so I would I would very much encourage everybody on the call to you know. Before you Great before tip. you leave work today, take a take a look. Publish something to to Air Design Share for free and and uh, see what you think. Great tip. Great tip. Um, yeah, can't wait. <laughs> All right. So I'm still um, checking out the question box. Nope. Uh, no questions for now. But um, you know, you can always uh, if you come up with some questions, you can always contact me at barbaranovec.com and I'll pass them on to Luke. So um, thanks everybody for joining us today. And I want to remind you that this is where you can go uh, to find PTC Creo 5 and the entire list of extension, including AR Design Share. So um, check it out. And uh, in the meantime, I will announce the next webinar, which is about VR this time and this great new product that comes from Europe. And uh, to rewatch today's webinar or previous ones, visit the Novage YouTube channel and, um, you know, explore our entire playlist of webinars. Um, there, there's webinar for every designer needs and every software taste. Thanks again for joining us today. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Bye, Luke. Thanks again for your presentation. Of course. Thank you so much. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.